Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Phasmophobia. It's a new week with a new weekly challenge, so let's just see what it is this time. No evidence. These ghosts really don't want to help you out, but we're sure you're up to the task. Awesome. I think this is gonna be what it is. <laughs> I think it's probably just no evidence. I wonder if it's gonna fuck me out of the uh, smudge sticks too. Be interesting to see. This is on Grafton, right? Yeah. No, oh, I've done many a no evidence run, so I think I'm up to the task. Oh yeah, we've got the smudgies. We're fucking absolutely set. Oh, and the fucking board as well. This is good. This is a good challenge. I'm already hyped. Let's see. Don't need the smudgy yet. Uh, what do I usually bring with the no evidence? I guess like a... Maybe, maybe the same like EMF, photo cam, etc. We're gonna need to bring in a video camera because the mimic still presents orbs even when there is no evidence. Okay, it doesn't show me where the breaker is. Which is whatever. I wonder if a no evidence ghost would give more than 3,000 in three games. Probably wouldn't. See, is the breaker on? Is not on. Now I just gotta look around. This is a haunted mirror. It's no ordinary mirror. So I think breaker location number two is right here. So it's the upstairs breaker. Which is what it is. Don't really need to look for the bone in challenge mode since the reward multiplier is so low. It's not necessarily a reason not to either though. Okay, there's a hiding spot here. Alright, let's get the breaker. We don't really need to search super hard for the ghost because there is the haunted mirror. So, on our way out, we can just take a quick look. Assuming the ghost doesn't, like, throw something nearby or something. So, I pass its room. Locker's no good. Found the breaker. I have to say, I think I like Grafton a lot more than Bleasdale, personally speaking. It's much cooler of a map. So I don't like the attic. The three floors thing makes it feel like way bigger of a map. Give my Sandy a little sucky sucky. I have no idea where that is. It's one of the bedrooms, two windows. Uh, we won't be able to get EMF5 from the board, which is fine. I'm gonna get a thermo and guess a video camera. So arguably maybe I shouldn't even have the tripod. I'm gonna recheck this area up here. Hold up, I don't think I... <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's amazing. Okay. I'll bring the video cam up. Don't think I bumped into the ghost, it was very far away. No, 
not seeing any Orbeez. It's a 1 in 24 chance. 1 positive thing about the Haunted Mirror is that it's very easy to control. It used to be much better of an item. They like gave it just like a 10 or 20% kicker with the amount of Sandy it sucks. Which definitely makes it less useful. Not seeing any Orbeez. Uh, we definitely want a photo cam just for the next time it does ghost event. And I guess some salt. And that's about it. In terms of items to rule out ghosts, like technically speaking, uh, the parabolic mic can rule out a couple ghosts, so I might as well have it. Currently at 80% Sandy. Parabolic mic can give a soft indicator for Myling, a pretty hard indicator for Moroi, and a 100% indicator for Banshee. Myling makes more noises. Now with the parabolic mic, which is whatever. The Moroi do like a Moroi curse on you. If it does ghost noise. On the parabolic mic. Like the ghost whisper or whatever. I'm trying to think. Oh, and the banshee has like a specific thing. I think I heard a ghost noise. It's very faint. So I'm gonna just chill like ten seconds. Then double check. Sandy. Sandy should basically be at eighty percent still. So I was in the light the whole time. Mm, I think that's roughly good. They fucked up the uh, lighting and how it interacts with Sandy. This hmm. It could be Moroi, though. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand in the dining room with a candle. For like 30 seconds or so. Candle, as you don't know, locks down your Sandy. So... If you're facing a normal ghost, you're just going to be 100% good on Sandy. You could stay there forever with the candle on. With the Moroi, however, if it inflicts the Moroi curse, you drain Sandy at twice the normal rate. Even while uh, in perfect light, like with the candle. I'm just giving it, like... Another 10, 20 seconds or so. Did it throw that fucking camera right in front of me? My high. Let's see. Okay. So we've ruled out the Moroi. Where is it? <laughs> God damn it. I put the... I don't think the camera on your head counts as electronic, but... I always get a little paranoid. Legitimately, I think our next phase of our investigation could be to 
do a preliminary hunt test. That's going to be more efficient than... Uh, whatever else. Hmm, let's see. Guess we're going to want a hiding spot nailed down before we... Go crazy. Oh, the fridge counts as a hiding spot. Found the bone as well. Delicious. Yep. Now I'm gonna double check my sandy. Might need to do this a couple times just to adjust it. We're getting we're aiming for above. 50 but below 60 I think we might actually just be perfectly in that sandy range so it went 52 down to 49 so if we were to average that out it's probably like 51 percent so now that's really on the money in that uncomfortable uncomfortable way but whatever. If it begins hunting, we'll know it's a 60 center. We can suspect that. Not looking like it. Did I put a motion sensor up there? I don't think I did. No, I think I'm seeing a light clip. Yeah, when I move the video. Move the mouse over. Uh, okay. So probably not on Rio, and maybe not Mare, though we have a bunch of lights up there. So realistically speaking, it could be a Mare. Really should have turned the light off up there. Fuck. Whatever, if I stand in a different room and let my sandy train a little bit. Get like a hunt test going. Should be good. I guess I'll double check my Sandy. Doing a very controlled test. Yeah, we're clearly under 50%, but above 40%. I think the mayor has like a hunt rate, hunt range of 40%. Uh, when there's lights everywhere, which might be coming into play because the mayor uh, there's only like the bathroom that's unlit. No, I think it went. It started its hunt from within the lit up room, so it's not a mayor. I think it's definitely a fast ghost. No, it's a normal, it's a poltergeist. Some fairly serious poltergeist. What 
That looked like a poltergeist to me. It was throwing every object. Like one right after another. Just boom, 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 boom. That's poltergeist paper. I'm just going to lock it in because this is going to be a much longer challenge than the other ones. If I'm second guessing myself a bunch, especially. Yep. I know a poltergeist throw when I see one. It's a ghost one out of three. Defeated. Go for another one. You know, unironically, it might be a strategy we probably could do. Oh, it's a little bit of like a no fun strategy. But we could do it. Is to just like activate the cursed object immediately for a hunt. Because uh, 60% of the time you're gonna figure out the ghost that way. Okay, the ghost is in this room. A lot less tempted to cheese it because it's like right next to the door. Pretty active as well. Is there a hiding spot in here? No. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's Haunted Mirror again. I wonder if it's locked in to be the Haunted Mirror. If that's just like an incidental thing. There's definitely going to be some dead-end ghosts. Unfortunately, that will be... Not like unsolvable, but not very solvable. I'm thinking especially about, like, the Yure. Like, the Yure has a special door touch, but it's always been finicky. The Gorio's ability is that it never roams, which, you know, good fucking luck. Like, I mean, you can sort of tell if a ghost is roamed. It's not the clearest cut thing, at best. For the most part. I think, is there anyone else who's like a real stinker? Uh, the twins, you can do with hunt tests, but it's a little bit subtle. On Rio, it's kind of a pain in the ass. You have to control your Sandy, basically. I think. Hmm. Shade can be a little annoying. Spirit is definitely annoying as fuck. Banshee too. Yeah, Banshee's probably one of the... Well, no, Banshee can kind of solve just uh, with... by staying away. Like, I could sit in another room and if it roams me over and over, bam, Banshee found. Ah. Just waiting till I hear a ghost sound. <sighs> okay. I think I was at. I don't remember what my Sandy was at. It's like 80 or 90 or something. It must have been 
there's no way it was 100 because we went through looking for the breaker. We would have been down at least 5%. So that was probably like a 15% or 10% ghost event. The reason why I was paying attention to that is I think that might rule out the Banshee. So it was singing. Pretty sure that's singing. It's humming, at the very least. So, mm hmm. And that rolls out the Oni as well, because we would have been down to like 75% for sure. Like 95, 75, I think that's it. Also rolls out the Shade. Uh, not like 100%, but, you know, it rolls it out to some degree. Because the Shade isn't supposed to do Ghost Events. Yeah, we missed our opportunity for a phantom test, but it doesn't really matter that much. The phantom is easy to determine with the hunt test. Nice if it stepped in the salt. Is it in the kitchen now? Did it roam? Maybe I was interacting with stuff. Jesus Christ. I thought I was hunting for a sec. Ah, okay. Guess we can get a photo cam. Not a phantom. Also, it's incredibly active. For whatever reason. It's definitely gonna be a hunter for sure. Hold up, where did I put that motion sensor? Over there? It might be dealing with a wraith. Is it so it's walking around quite a bit. Okay. Not a wraith. Also, I think I stepped into it. Yeah, that's a normal ghost event. So it's definitely not Banshee or Oni. So not a Wraith. Have we not done the Mimic test yet? No, we have. I could be in the kitchen, I just don't know. Well, whatever the case, I think we're honing in on a hunt test. We're gonna want the breaker on for sure. Oh, it is on, sweet. That'd be a good place to hunt test, I guess, like around this couch so I can see if it's a 
gin. So I think it breaks line of sight. Couch, I mean. Should be hitting that 60% sandy threshold very shortly. In fact, I kind of want to double check that I'm at it right now. So it's going to give me valuable insight as to whether or not it's uh, on Rio. Like, the most straightforward way to do an on Rio, or like a mirror test, is to. Oh, an on Rio test is to have candles. Because after the third candle blow, the on Rio just goes. But it's. You can, you can edge out a uh, good chunk of information if you just very carefully control your Sandy. So if it hunts, we'll know it's not a whole host of ghosts right now because I'm below 60 but above 50. Most ghosts hunt at 50% Sandy. Now, there can be ghosts that fucking wait, basically, for you to have under 50 sandy. So they're just, like, inactive or something. And they could easily hunt. Which is annoying, but this thing has done, like, five ghost events. I'm pretty sure my sandy is still draining, even though I'm standing next to light, so we're I'm gonna let it return to its room. It locked over here. Okay. What was I saying? Most ghosts hunt 50 or lower. Some ghosts will hoe you though. Pretty much the whole my thought on the subject. Maybe my sandy actually isn't training. Unless I'm staying in this little dark corner. Alright, we should be hunting range now. Yeah, I'll cook the brain slightly longer. Think it can see me? Seems pretty fucking slow. Hmm. I think it was speeding up as normal though. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a tough one. This is a non-huntable, hunt-testable ghost. Because they weren't Oni flicks, they weren't Phantom flicks. Uh, I think it was basically normal speed. So I don't think it goes like a Hantu, because I think the Hantu is much more obvious in its slowness. So that was just kind of normal ghost behavior. Similarly, I kind of want to soft rule out the mare and... The more no the on Rio. 
I didn't see it change shape. It's definitely not a Deogen or Moroi. It's sped up so it's not Thay. I mean, it could be Moroi. I'm not 100% like used to the Moroi when I'm at 40% sandy or whatever. I think we would have been much faster to our hunt threshold because we were standing there with parabolic mic. I'm sure we got some like parabolic noise or whatever. It's definitely not a demon. Didn't really test if it's a uh, yokai or anything. It's definitely not a gin or a revenant or a raiju. Uh, poltergeist. It could be a Myling. I, didn't, I wasn't really paying that much attention. And if we go back in there, uh, it should be before three minutes have passed, but probably after 90 seconds have passed for us, so we can... Yep, so it's not a spirit. Yeah, I think it's beating up. It might be a, it might be a twins. Uh, not one hundred percent sure. It did seem like it was kind of moving fastish. Are you just twins? I don't know. It could have been moving fast because it's after me for a while. Hmm. Let's just say it's not the Gorio. I haven't really been looking at the charts long enough to gauge whether or not it's doing like two interactions and shit. Obviously it's not a phantom. It could still be a yokai, we haven't really done a yokai test. It seems really on top of me to not be a yokai, I mean to be a yokai though. You know what? I think we can test these three ghosts. I want to soft roll out the twins. Because... I haven't seen twin reaction and that's it. It's either a yokai or a mile, probably. So we can test the yokai right now by seeing if it slurps right onto me. Hello? Hello? Okay, I think it's a yokai. I think that was a clear cut yokai. Obvious yokai. So walk past to fucking loop around that goddamn couch. And I was standing behind that, or I was crouching behind that table. That's yokai behavior if I've ever seen it. Boom. There's no fucking way it's not a yokai. It was going around the couch. Yep. Easy peasy. This game, two out of three. I think for the third one, I'm just gonna go for the hunt test immediately. Sort of enter the cheese strat territory because 35 minutes in the video. Plus, it'll be 
helpful slash useful to show off. How to get it done quick. In case people are uh, struggling. I'm gonna get the breaker on first though. Much easier to hunt test if you can actually see, after all. Did there's something nearby? Grab the haunted mirror, bring it to a little corner over here. If it's not untestable, then we'll just have to restart, which is fine. Be much quicker than the alternative. So, where are you? I think that's upstairs bedroom. No, that's back of the house bedroom. Should be pretty much out of Sandy now. I'm gonna double check. Cause it, we might be, we might have landed at like a really good Sandy threshold. No, we're just down on all our Sandy. So now we can just wait in the kitchen, I guess. Might be better to loop it around this dining room table though. So there's a bunch of junk and stuff like that. I don't want to force a cursed hunt because it'll be harder. Actually, nope, there we go. Cool. So we can yokai test by just having the lights on. Very probably not a yokai. Footsteps sound a little bit quiet. Hmm. Don't think it was throwing objects. Like a bunch. Either. I want to bring crucifix so it doesn't hunt right on top of me. Plus it'll give the ghost the time to reset itself. Am I a dumb fuck? I feel like it's quiet footsteps, but I'm not like 100% sure. Well, no matter what, we can start rolling out ghosts. So I'm pretty sure I had my light on, didn't speed up. Wasn't super fast, it's not a Moroid, Diogen, or Thay. Don't think it's a Hantu. Definitely not a Revenant. Do a gin test right now. No, it's not a gin. Ghost is definitely speeding up, so it's not a Hantu. I want to say it's a Mylan. just registering me as quiet footsteps. Ah, <sighs> it's normal speed too. I 
I don't know why I'm not trusting my gut. I'm going for it. Are you my lame? No, it was on Rio. We saved ourselves some time there. There's no, like, easy way to do the on Rio test. Other than doing the, like, sanity alchemy. But why would we do that when we could just do the same exact thing? After all, there's only a 40% chance we can't tell it's uh, what it is. Alright, step one. Jeez, I thought that fan was a fucking ghost. Awesome. Got a breaker, we've also got this hiding spot in case, for whatever reason, we didn't want to use the fridge. Got our lights on. Let's put this here. It's so hard to tell the Miling's footsteps. It would really be awesome if they made them like a bit quieter. I'm just gonna cause it to do a curse hunt. Because it's so far away. Makes the most sense to do gen test first. <laughs> okay, well, it's not a gen. How's that a cursed hunt? What the hell? Anyways, that goes as fast as fuck. I think it's a they. I'm not 100% sure. Gotta wait for another hunt. Just double check. So I think the Moroi is not quite as fast as the they. Could take a pill or two. No, it's done. It's hunting. Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm dead. Fuck me, dude. That's a thing. That's so fucking fast. Man. So I don't think it's a revenant. It would have never made it out from upstairs if it was rev. Yeah, there we go. It's a Thay. I think we get the full 3,000 from challenge mode. Yeah, so it didn't even matter that we died. It was speedrun tactics. Generally speaking, as to the best of my knowledge, the Thay is like faster than the Moroi, even with 0% Sandy, as long as it doesn't speed up. Because the Moroi speeds up and Thay maintains like a equilibrium. If we're just talking about Thay's that hunt like right off the bat, Thay's a weird ghost. It ages over time. I think you have to be near it for it to age. Uh, but we were on the opposite side of the map, so it was just in its youngest form, which is its fastest form. 
if you have a really long game and the ghost seems pretty fucking slow and it doesn't speed up during hunt, then that is also a thing, unless it's Hauntu. But you can tell Hauntu by being relatively nearish to the ghost room, and you'll hear it zoom out of the ghost room and then slow down super duper. That was just the speed. So, yeah, that's this week's challenge mode complete. Which is nice. Nice and straightforward challenge. I like the no evidence challenge. It allows for a variety of different play styles, kind of. You know, I did it both fast and slow. Relies heavily on a bunch of knowledge. I could see, like, if someone didn't have a lot of the stuff memorized, why it would be a giant, like, it would feel very daunting. I mean, it's challenge mode. Look, there's plenty of easy challenges, so there being, like, a harder challenge, that's fine with me. I much prefer to the, like, large map zero sandy shit. That's for fucking sure. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Phasmophobia. Goodbye!